Hi guys, my name's Chris Appleton and I'm here with Alor and I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite Kim Kardashian West hairstyles. This was the beginning of a whole new vibe with the super long, sleek, share hair. The makeup was very natural and the hair was really dramatic and long. As simple as it is, it's actually quite a striking look and it's actually quite a tough look to wear. You know, it's quite a solid shape. The key to this look was how intensely shiny it was. So conditioning treatments are, you know, vital. We went for a much softer finish on the ends, which is really pretty. It makes it feel slightly more organic and lived in, just with those kind of natural thin ends, which for me, felt really organic. Oh, I love this look. This is one of my favorites on Kim. I think Kim does the wet look so well. The key part of this is the ends are really light and fine and textured. And I get asked all the time, how do you create the wet look on Kim? This wave is actually, you know, the natural wave of the hair. So we just enhanced that. I just literally grabbed a few sections throughout the ends and just wrapped it around a two inch curling iron. And I just, I kind of call it kissing the hair. So I just kiss the hair with the curling iron. And it's all just literally about using the right product. So I just use a spray oil in hair dry it in um, with a diffuser and then I use the Colorwell Pop and Lock and it's just a, a shellac and I put that through the ends to make it PC in texture and give it a really, really great shine. And a lot of people get confused and put gel in the hair whereas the hair should still feel touchable and it should still feel soft. This is the mother of all ponies. I think this is the longest and highest pony I've done on Kim. So with the contour, obviously we wanted to show off all the face and all the, you know, the shaping. And it just felt so right to do a perfectly snatched pony. So if you look at the whole contour and the shape of Kim's face, we just followed that into this really super high snatched pony. If you go lower with the pony, it tends to feel more professional. It can look a little more daytime. The higher the pony it always looks kind of snatched and a little bit more kind of, you know, sad. I love this. I love this look because it looks so expensive and rich. I always like to make the hair super flat on top, so you need to really get rid of the volume in your hair. So I usually will use a hairdryer and a nozzle and direct the nozzle down so we're really eliminating all of the volume throughout the front. The second thing is the shine, so you really need to keep on top of your conditioning treatments. But I always like to use a shine spray and then I put the irons over the hair so that kind of melts into the hair and gives it that flawless glass-like finish. If you do have any short pieces at the front, I always like to just braid them away underneath. So I'll just take the short areas away around the hairline and I'll just do a very small braid, literally falling around the hairline, going around to the nape and just pin it underneath. So you've got your long length that falls over the top. And if you really need to, you can also use a few clip-ins at the top just to give you that you know drama so I think this will go down as one of my favorite images of Kim this was at New York Fashion Week we just bleached the hair and took a blonde we wanted to do something that was a little different from the time before she had done blonde so previously it was a little warmer so this time we really wanted to make the hair more platinum and more icy and then go for more of an ash tone it felt good it felt fresh and it felt different platinum's previous have always been more yellowy so i think bringing this icy element to the platinum was really amazing on kim's skin tone and her eye color so kim's root came through really quick and it was just like a real nice shadow at that point and when we played with the roots a lot throughout the blonde and i think that was kind of a key part of the blonde that we kept a root because it kind of changed the whole vibe of the blonde it kind of made it feel really cool and almost a bit grungy and a bit kind of 90s which was nice but at this point there was not a lot of root it was very short and still worked So this look we literally created in five minutes and all I did was I literally sprayed oil in her hair like a very light hair and body oil and probably used like five mists let it sink into the hair and just use my fingers just to shake it out and make it kind of more PC. Took to one side behind here and off she went. So this is great because we and Kim were both blonde at the same time. And it's kind of a, a time where we're experimenting. You know, Kim was newly blonde and we were just playing around with different looks. And the snatch always looks good on Kim. It reminded me of Madonna from the uh, Blonde Ambition Tour. What makes the look more interesting is we actually added a thick band at the root. And it was just literally a white headband. And we wrapped it around the base of the ponytail, which elevated the pony and gave it that kind of kick-ass swish. 
Cher is, you know, such an icon to Kim and also myself. And for Halloween, Kim really went out this year. And Cher always looks so good on Kim. It just works. It looks so good. And at this point, Kim was actually blonde. So we were playing around with wigs. So this was a wig. And we brought back the super long, shiny, glossy Cher hair, which was so much fun for a day. And everyone was dying over the whole look. For me, it was a real iconic Kim. Brunette, rich, you know, sexy. The hair was really undone, loose. So for this look, you can see you've got these like PC kind of hairs, which was really important. So once I'd styled the hair, we've just a cut, like we used a two inch curling iron. I wrapped it in different directions and used my fingers just to really rake it out and shake it out and frame the face at the front, which is also nice. I always pinch the front just so you got like a little bit more shape. And then I used a texturizing spray just at the root to give it that lived in kind of texture. So this was a really fun look we did. The hair actually had like a tint of blue. It wasn't blue, but because of the flash and because the hair was so platinum, it photographed blue, but it was really its purest blonde. So when the hair's freshly bleached is when it's kind of like, you know, it's brightest. And you know, in the short hairstyle, I think it was really, really cool. Sometimes I use uh, like a, a mousse to enhance that. So I'll use um, Colorwell's Lavender Mousse. And it's actually just like a leave-in conditioning mousse, but it actually tones the hair. So it'll take away any yellow tones or any brassiness. And obviously when you're blonde, it's really important to tone away any warmth in the hair and keep it really icy looking. I remember this very well. This was the look that, you know, we, we had this kind of really oversized suit. It was a really cool look. The hair was still blonde and platinum. And we actually just added a really simple black headband. So we literally just ironed the hair really flat, super sleek, middle part, very chill. Um, and we added this black headband, which everyone went crazy for. They all really, really loved the look. This made such a statement and it's just a black headband. You don't have to go crazy. So we tried, you know, five different headbands, just different sizes. And the thick one just felt quite right for this look. You also want to work with your face shape. So for this look, we, you know, left some of Kim's ear out. So the headband almost got a little bit slimmer and then I also just add a little Kirby grip on the underneath just to make sure the headband doesn't slip. The key part is making sure that your hairline is covered because if it goes back it's going to look a little bit more girly whereas this looks a bit more fierce when it's actually on the hairline. Oh, one of my favorites. This was such a cool look. So this was at the end of the blonde. So blonde was coming to an end. We're moving into brunette. And we always said from the beginning, we should definitely play with a color at some point. And pink just felt right. I think every girl should try pink at least once in their lives. I loved it because it was really different for Kim. Honestly, she's so gorgeous. She can take any color. What was fun about the pink is it kind of evolved and we went from a, a brighter pink into a more pale, cool pink. So we got a couple of different looks out of it. I think the dark root really really added that kind of grungy, cool girl element to it. So I just used um, Manic Panic, so it's a color concentrate, but I only added a drop of it into conditioner. And then I put it through Kim's hair, we left it for like 20 minutes, and it just gave it this beautiful pink hue. But I wanted the blonde from the underneath to kind of shine through, so it was kind of like reflective and not too dense. This was actually for an event with Madonna where they were both talking about their beauty ranges, which was really amazing, two icons together. For Kim's hair, we wanted to lighten the hair a little bit. So we wanted to take a little bit of the intenseness out of the pink. And we used a really cool little beauty trick where if you wanna make the hair fade, we actually crushed up vitamin C and we used shampoo in the vitamin C, mix it together and then shampoo the hair in it. Now the acid from the vitamin C will lighten the hair and it takes the pink out. So it's a really great tip if you wanna fade your color out a little bit. It. and it actually took it to this lighter shade of pink and we you know we added a little bit more length and a bit more drama for the light pink and I think it just looked really cool. I remember this look very well and the whole conversation actually was about her mom was in it and her grandma was in it so we were talking about taking Kim back dark and then you know we were playing around with ideas and we were like actually what about if they all went blonde which was so good and everyone died over Kris Jenner's blonde wig and you know a grandma looked amazing in the blonde wig Kim's hair at the time we were doing this short blunt look it almost looked like it was cut with a razor you know it was so immaculately blunt and seeing them all blonde together on the day was so great I'm glad we kept to this moment for sure. 
This image does all the talking. The brunette was a little lighter than what we're used to seeing Kim wear, but it was much more of like a sun-kissed brunette. And we just worked with a real natural undone wave. And then I just sprayed some oil on the ends to make it look kind of PC. And it also adds that kind of cool element to it because I didn't want it to feel too glamorous. I wanted the hair to still feel kind of sexy, but you know, not like a full wet look. So you can make parts of the hair a little bit more oily and that will just make it look like more lived in. I just think the whole shoot was sexy. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed going through some of my favorite hairstyles that are created on Kim Kardashian West. And it's always great to see what you guys are creating at home. When you DM me and show me your pictures of looks that you've created inspired by Kim's hair, it keeps inspiration for everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this little journey. Uh, let's see what's gonna happen for the future.